We return to redrawing your art. Basically, you submit your artwork to Twitter with the hashtag redrawmyart, and I use that to find an artwork to redraw. But it also is gonna go two ways this time. That's right. I am gonna share some of my artworks with you that you will choose out of to redraw. Because thanks to Hueon, who is sponsoring this video and that competition, I will choose three winners who redraw my art to win one of these. And I also left the screen protector on so we could share this moment together. Oh my God, that's satisfying. This gorgeous device is the brand new Hueon Canvas 22 Plus. The Hueon Canvas 22 has an almost 22 inch large screen, 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity, a high color gamut of 140% sRGB, chemically etched anti-glare glass and USB-C connection support. So you can connect to your mobile device or laptop or or phone and the best part of all of this stuff is the 22 is only 399 and the 22 plus is only 499 now if you want to snag one of these in the competition stay tuned to later in the video where I reveal the Twitter competition details but if you want to snag one for yourself on Amazon all the links are in the description and I'm gonna hide a 50 buck Amazon gift code somewhere in this video somewhere on the set but whoever can get that first gets a little helping hand along the way to getting a device like this for themselves a huge thank you to Hueon for sponsoring this video so let's get scrolling we've got uh I've got quite a few submissions here. Oh, this is compelling. I could do some stuff with that. I'll put that in my maybe list. I mean, some of this art is really cool and does not need redrawing. None of the art re needs redrawing. Oh, come on. This looks like it's from like a dating sim. <laughs> oh, Adventurer of the Rainbow Island. Do you know what? Let's have a mixed bag today. Let's go Mean and Gnarly Monster and Adventurer of the Rainbow Island. We're gonna smack out two. Let's start off with The Adventurer of the Rainbow Island. And this will be our warm up. I always gave people a choice in previous episodes if I should do one high quality one or a couple of like barely colored in decent quality ones. And in the past, people always erred towards just less but higher quality. But let me know in the comments if you want me to just sketch out a bunch uh, and maybe not color them in or be as refined, I I'm open. But I'll try and knock out two higher quality ones today. <laughs> Got like this windswept hair. I think to keep it cuter, I need to give him a bigger forehead. He's got like a stern expression. Determined, I should say. I think because his eyes are wide open, it looks sort of manic. But actually, I need to reference the original illustration here because you'll notice the eyelids are half closed. That was a very clever design move. The expression turns from a little too intense to being a little more nonchalant. A little more like... <laughs> now, he's got some sort of a dagger. And then, of course, he has the classic rainbow scarf. He's got his hand in his pockets of his hoodie. Make his hoodie thingies wave in the wind along with his scarf. Looks sort of like a diamondy thing too, so I'm just gonna make this a diamond dagger because it's Rainbow Island, guys. There we go. Now it's pretty clear we've got this design flare in his hair. He's got like this stripe of red. We're pretty much ready to attack the line work. And we're ready, so let's attack. finished Adventure of Rainbow Island artwork. I feel like it needs a name. Maybe you guys should name it. Let me know in the comments. So what I've actually done is I have created a layer behind the line work, which is just a silhouette. Like if I hide my line work, it's just the interior or everything inside the line work filled in with one flat color because I'm gonna start working with something called clipping masks. Now the quick tip is if you don't know what a clipping mask is, create a layer above the layer. You wanna create a clipping mask in, alt click the line, dividing those two layers, boom, it puts it inside of it, making it a clipping mask, meaning everything that you draw on that layer is masked inside the clipping mask. And this is super useful for coloring in because it means you can't go outside the lines. <laughs> If I now move to the layer underneath, and let's say I grab the blue for the jeans, I can just create a bigger brush and just slop it in. 
Yeah. Now we're gonna do the rainbow scarf and I'm gonna do the sneaky, sneaky thing I did before. I'm just gonna do every second color because then half of the colors I don't have to do neatly. Skip the yellow straight to green. Skip the cyan straight to blue. There you go. And then on the next layer down, then I can go to the colors I skipped and just look how easy this is. feel like it might suit his cartoony style more by tweaking the color of the lines. And the way I like to do this is I'm just gonna like pick the skin tone, for example, and just make a, a darker color based off of the skin tone. And then inside this clipping mask, I'm basically just manually coloring in the lines that surround that area. I'm just doing all of the lines that clearly connect to the skin tone. That's pretty much the skin tone. Works pretty well. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Also like every few items apart, I'll use the same layer to do the same thing to other areas. Now I'm gonna go a layer down. And because I've done those colors, it's even quicker and easier. They're just like lap in their hair color. I'll go like a light gray for the teeth. Keep the eyes black. Blue for the jeans. A nice rich light blue for the dagger. Do you know what could be interesting? I'm gonna grab my gradient tool. Does that work? Ooh, it's not matching the gradient on the scarf, but at the same time, that's sort of fun. All right, I'll match the gradient. And just like that, we have blank the adventurer of Rainbow Island. But let's leave him where he is and let's move on to our next artwork, This Monster by I Scare You Now. This is aesthetically quite different. Now the original is quite, like has a cartoony air to it, but I want to try and amp that into a uh, much less cutesy aesthetic. We've got quite a big jaw and I want to go for a really dramatic angle. Just looks a bit awkward. <laughs> what is this? Ah! Now, back to the drawing board. You know what? Maybe we should just refer to the original. Oh, and there's blood. There's blood on the original. We're gonna be able to get pretty gnarly with this one. <laughs> I'll take that claw I've just drawn. I'll make it uh, far larger. That's the exoskeleton. It's got spikes on it to make it even spiky. <laughs> Let's just softly put in a few of the more gnarly details, like in particular the face. Now, though this isn't in the original, uh, something I'm gonna do that I find makes teeth and mouths really gross is just to show as much gum as possible and also to make the teeth sort of little. I want to go a little more alien-y, so let's, let's go a little more cony maybe. Let's add a few like lines that turn into the texture of the head. Oh, this is fun! This is this is gonna be a good one. We want the ribs to all show through. And just occasionally have like bones poke out like here in the elbow. It's making sure we can like really contort the proportions to be as monstrous as possible. I have to say, I'm glad I went back to following the original pose. I feel like this is way more representative of the original and it's adequately gnarly and intense. <laughs> so this one is gonna take a lot more time to polish off and also nail the aesthetic. So I'm gonna dive into that, but before I do, I wanted to cover a couple of things. One, the competition. So like I said, there are three of these beautiful Canvas 22 Pluses up for grabs. This is easily the best large display tablet that Huion has made. It's brand new, it's really high spec, it feels amazing. And with that stand compatibility, it just means that this is capable of so much professional awesomeness. In fact, let me show you what that actually does. If, for example, you want to mount it to one of these boom arm things, check that out. Simple as that, you can attach Canvas 22 Plus to any mount. Oh. 
How good is that? So that's pretty cool. And if you want one for yourself, like I said, there's three up for grabs. So pick one of these three artworks. I'll put the links in the description to some high resolution ones you can use as a reference. Do what I do in the same way, have mine in the corner and recreate it in your style and as cool as you can. Submit your final entry to Twitter and use the hashtag redrawjazzesart. All the details and rules and parameters for this little competition are in the description, so go follow those as well. But that is how you have a chance to win one of these tablets. But even if you don't win one, guys, check out the Canvas 22 Plus. There's the Canvas 22 at $399 and the Canvas 22 Plus at $499 with all of these features, all of this amazing build quality and professionalism. You can't go wrong. With an almost 22 inch quantum dot LED screen, 140% sRGB with chemically etched anti-glare glass, the brand new Pentec 3.0 Huey on pen and the Type-C connection. With all the great features, all the way down to the high quality and adjustable stand that it comes with, I'm sure you get the point by now that this device is amazing and Hueyon is amazing for sponsoring this video. All the details are in the description. I think at this stage, really I gotta sink my teeth into the nitty gritty. This will take some time, but I'm gonna do the entirety of the line work and just the solid black shading and I'll make it fairly comic book-esque and then we'll come back and I'll go through a bit of the color and how to make this thing really gritty. Let's go. Okay, some time later, I have the end result. As you can imagine, the line work for this took a lot longer than the line work for this. But with that said, oh my God, <laughs> this is really cool. And might I say, incredibly faithful to the original, which I'm particularly proud of. So now I'm gonna slap in color. And when I say slap in, just because I'm slapping something in, doesn't mean it's not gonna be good, trust me. The most important thing for one like this is we need to lay down a backdrop because, well, on a white backdrop it just looks wrong. Slap in some texture behind and slowly lay in some color. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering what brushes I'm using, these are my custom Photoshop brushes. I use them for everything. You can go to the Jazza Studios or drawwithjazza.com shop and get them for yourself. So support to the channel and they're really cool. I, again, I use them for everything. So first I need to pick my base color. I'm gonna go for like a really sickly green. Oh my God, this is looking too cool too quick. Just adding a new layer and I have a blender brush. Now before I shape areas with shading, I'm gonna start off by pushing areas further into the background just so that the arm can stick out. So I can shade in here and then I'll just use the eraser to uh, erase in here roughly and bring that arm back into the foreground. And then again, back in with my brush. But really all I'm gonna do is alternate moving between shadows and highlights to just build up layer by layer the depth of the character. So the first is this loose layer of shading. That's our first layer of shading. Next I'm gonna move on to my first layer of highlights. Now the other thing I love to do, and some of you know this about me, is I like to make it pop by just picking an edge and really adding a highlight just on the edge. Just makes it look like there's a light behind the character, but it also just adds a real intense depth, especially when you have like limbs like this overlaying other parts of the body, it also helps create a bit of separation. So I'm gonna add one more layer. This is gonna be my second layer of shadows. And this time I'm gonna go sort of turquoisey. I've added one more layer to the clipping mask and this time I'm gonna go a nice bright sickly yellow. And this time I'm gonna make him nice and glisteny, which will make him look slimy and gross. With just four layers, we've just slammed in some 
epic shading. So all I wanna do now is just go in and add some final details just to make it really stand out. Now we'll be changing this color elsewhere as well, but I'm just gonna start off by selecting this layers blend modes and just flick through until I find some magic. And whoa, whoa. That's pretty magic. This is the overlay blend mode. That is <laughs> really cool. I'll just tweak the hue a little bit just to make it a touch more yellow. And now I just go through and add that yellow to the other claws and places that have the yellow. So just by gently coloring in the gums like that, I'll pick a different blend mode. That looks gnarly. All right, let's go with lighten. And then while we're adding some color variation, I'll grab like a purple or something like that and just really gently have a gradation down to the bottom of the body here. Last but not least, one layer on top. I'm gonna grab my big brush. I'm gonna grab a nice solid bloody red. I'm just gonna start off by just tapping my brush. It's almost like sponging on. So this to linear burn. I'm gonna be pretty brutal around the claw here because I'm gonna go around and erase and clean up the bits that aren't the claw. Just a few little details. I'm gonna grab my detail brush. And there we go. Look at that. The best part is he's barely parted from the, the source material reference. <laughs> but what a cool reference I had to work from both this and my adventurer of Rainbow Island. Let me know what his name is below. But also I love that they couldn't be any more different. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you thought of this video and if you enjoyed it, how you think I should approach future sessions of this, but just like all the other ones, I had a lot of fun with you here today. Thank you so much for sharing your art. I hope you enjoyed mine. And once again, if you want a chance to win one of these beautiful babies, there are three Canvas 22 Pluses up for grabs if you recreate my artwork, which of course, I'm gonna be looking at all those entries in a future video. Can't wait to see what you do. Instructions are down below, but that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if if you haven't subscribed, make sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can join in future fun. There are more videos over there you might enjoy. Otherwise, that, my friends, is it for now. And until next time, I'll see you later. Go, oh, God. Sorry. I forgot about it. Whew.